Welcome back. We now cross over to our international correspondent, David Kibuka, who's in Zimbabwe. Dave, what's happening there? Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe has been made chairman of the African Union. At this point, I think it's up to the viewers to decide for themselves whether that's a good idea. Because clearly, they are not looking at presidential track record as a criteria. Apparently, the new criteria is best Hitler moustache. So you're not going to comment? All I did was call my great-grandfather and I said, what are you doing, granddad? Your age mates are becoming chairman of the AU while you, great granddad, are talking about rubbing Vicks in your ankles. So Dave, you still not gonna comment on, on this thing? What's there to comment on? Because at some point you just become a hater. At least Robert Mugabe is educated. And no, I'm not about to comment on President Jacob Zuma. Lack of education is linked to everything, especially crime. Because I saw that mall shootout in Bedford you last week. Where do you think those criminals came from? Basically, by lowering the pass rate, our Minister of Education is breeding criminals. Dave, that's a bit harsh. That's a harsh thing to say. Because these matrics who get 13%, they look at the job mail and they go, doctor, no, teacher, pay too low. Ah, cash in transit, no matric results required, flexible hours, and transport will be provided to and from work. Yay! <laughs> Dave, are you saying that only students with bad marks commit crimes? Is that what you say? I can tell you that students from private schools are not committing crimes. And if they are, they are committing white collar crimes. With our poor public education system, students can't even be white collar criminals. Why? Because you have to pass maths to commit fraud. Government learners will be like, so I must carry the four plus is it credit them or credit a uh, uh, long division? I'll rather stick to the fruits. Let's steal the fruits. Dave, come on, man. Government peoples know their fruits, Dave. Come on, don't and, be like that. And speaking of fruits, Lloyd, when it comes to fruit design, I feel like the inside of a mango is designed very well, but then the skin and the shape leaves a lot to be desired. It's almost as if mangoes were designed to be eaten in the shower, Lloyd. Dave. I thought we were talking about the chairperson of the AU. Why are you talking about mangoes? Thank you, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, that was David Kibuka in Zimbabwe. We'll see him next week.